All right, I'm going to talk a little bit about the common myths and fears when you become a beach body coach. And the first one I think that I get the most often is someone saying, I'm not at my health and fitness goals. And I think it's really important to know that through your health and fitness journey, through you sharing your health and fitness journey at any level on any stage that you are currently in is a testimony in itself. So there are just so many different types of coaches that come into the business at any stage in their health and fitness. And I think it's important to always know too that your health and fitness will always be fluctuating and you'll always be moving yourself forward and you'll always be restarting. So if you have a fear that you're not at your health and fitness goals, just know that most people are not and you actually have really great success when you're, when you're honest and you're transparent with where you're currently at. Another common myth is having no time. And ultimately, you guys, when I first started coaching, this was probably my biggest hurdle to get through is not having enough time. I was working well over 40 hours a week. I was just super, super busy with life. And really, who has a lot of time to start a new venture, right? So time is super important. It's of the essence. And we want to spend time with our family and friends. So making the time for beach body coaching is simple. All you have to do is sacrifice a TV show, sacrifice a happy hour, anything that you can pull away from your day to work on your business and help people reach their health and fitness goals. So not having the time, I totally get it. I've been there. But at the end of the day, you know, where do you spend your time? You really have to think about that and you can manage it. In the first year of my business, I worked maybe 30 minutes a day on my business. So you definitely have 30 minutes that you probably can spare. And if you want to move your business forward, then spending those 30 minutes a day will just ultimately give you more freedom in the end. The next one is not being an expert. I was a total hot mess when I first started coaching. I was on medications. I was binge eating. I had all of these bad habits, smoking, drinking, all these bad habits that I had that carried around with me, my baggage. I wasn't an expert and I didn't think that I could coach because I thought that people wouldn't want to follow me because I wasn't an expert and because I felt like such a hot mess with my own health and fitness journey. But what's great about Beachbody is they give you all of the tools, all of the training for all of the programs, and they actually have their own celebrity trainers that create the meal plans and create the workouts for your customers. So you don't have to be an expert. You just have to be an expert at the actual program that you're doing. And you have to get health and fitness results. And you have to experience what your challengers are experiencing. All right? So the next one, I'm not a salesperson. I can tell you that when someone comes up to me in a store and they're trying to sell me something or they're following me around, it drives me crazy. I'm not a salesperson either. I've done sales and this isn't a salesy type business. We don't cold call, we don't cold invite, but what we do do is we use the programs, we find our own transformations, we feel better about ourselves, we get results, and we share that with people on social media. And that's ultimately how you get the sale, is people see your health and fitness journey, you inspire them, and they want to join you ultimately. So you don't have to be a salesperson. In fact, we have no sales type people on our team. We're very warm, we like to create those relationships, and ultimately, we share our health and fitness journey on social media, and people follow us, and they wanna join our health and fitness journey. Another one is not having a social media presence. And I can say just from personal experience that when I first started coaching, I had maybe 50 friends on Instagram and I had maybe 100 friends on Facebook. And I was a constant unfollower, blocker type person. I just wasn't into social media. And over time and over um, you going through your health and fitness journey, you start to expand your community and your reach because those are the people that you want on your side. Those are the people who will potentially join a challenge group and those are the people who are going to support you. So you don't need to have this huge following to be successful. It takes time and it takes patience and it just takes you sharing your health and fitness journey. Another myth is this is a pyramid scheme and I've done a lot of research 
on what pyramid schemes are and they're very illegal. So Beachbody wouldn't be around for 12 plus years if it was illegal. Um, but I think ultimately they're expanding. You know, they just expanded to, to Canada a few years ago and now they're expanding the, to the UK in the fall. So a pyramid scheme wouldn't be growing of that nature if it was a pyramid scheme. And they do have a triple rated with the business bureau, which is great as well. So no pyramid scheme, you don't have to worry about that. And I think ultimately people have this misconception that they have to be perfect or they have to be experts or personal trainers or they have to have all these certificates and you don't. You just have to want to help people. You have to want to work on your health and fitness journey and you have to want to be passionate about working on your own health and fitness journey. So those are a few myths and fears that some coaches or some challengers that want to eventually coach have going into the business. And so rest assured, there are so many different types of coaches. You can be a coach. You just have to decide that you want to be a coach. All right. Thank you for watching. We'll talk soon. Bye.